In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, we give him praise and thanks for his coming to a people that were not seeking him. He came from the east in search of the lost sheep. And he found the lost brother in the west, blind, deaf, and dumb, having been turned inside out by our former slave masters and their children. He came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, the long-awaited Mahdi of the Muslims and Messiah of the Christians. He came wearing two hats, but he came to raise one from among us and give him his hat. The Mahdi is one self-guided, one who comes to set down every tyrant and set justice in the earth. He's anointed with the power of the almighty, omnipotent creator to crush the wicked, destroy them completely, destroy their world, their institutions, even their thoughts are to be destroyed so that a new world of righteousness will come in. He's a man, a real live human being, but supreme above all beings, supreme in knowledge, supreme in wisdom, supreme in understanding, supreme in power. He comes to North America by himself. Isaiah the prophet saw him coming and he saw him coming, treading the wine press alone. He said there was no power to uphold him, so his own right hand, it upheld him. He came for you, the black man and woman of America, the most tormented the most destroyed, who once were a great nation, but are now no people at all, a people that have been made into their enemy. So they wear their enemy's name and they are in their enemy's religion and they have been educated by their enemy to think and act like their enemy. So as their enemy hated them, he put hatred in them for themselves and for their own people. The job that he came to do or to give to one that he came with his hat. And only the right head could fit that hat. He's called the son of man. Look at his skin color. 
He's white. How then could you say, we hate white people because of the color of their skin when the man that came came in that color or lack of it? Wait. You've been reading your Bible all your life and you have not understood it. Listen to what the Apostle Paul says. It's written that he would come or God would send his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh. I don't guess I greeted you yet. <laughs> but I think I should greet all of you. Thank you for coming. I will represent the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and Master Farad Muhammad to you today. And I greet you. In the greeting words of peace, we say it in the Arabic language. Assalamu alaikum. Now, why is white flesh referred to as sinful flesh? Since flesh doesn't do evil. It's what's directing the flesh. But sin, according to Paul, is transgression of the law. And those in that flesh set up a world in transgression to the law of God. And that's why the Bible says we are born in sin and shaped in iniquity. We are born in a world that teaches against the law of God and its righteousness. And regardless to what you learn in church, in the mosque, in the synagogue, in the temples, in the cathedrals. It's not what you are being taught. It's the actions that we participate in after being taught, and these actions are made fair-seeming. You can be a drunkard, and it's okay. They arrest you for smoking reefer, but they bring it in the country. They arrest you for using heroin, but you are not in Colombia. You are not where the heroin is being processed, but it comes to you. You own no planes, you own no ships but it gets here. And the enemy makes what we do all right. As the Quran teaches that the devil will make evil fair seeming. 